six to seven with gust up to 15. Um, our mixing height is great and our transport winds are great so that should be good although our relative humidity was just a little bit higher than it was yesterday and so if we have anything spotting into those plots that are to the northwest we can always bump back to that next road and, and do any suppression or back burning off of that if needed. The wildfire danger is not going to go away. With, it, with climate change, increasing drought, um, increasing temperatures in some areas, wildfire is going to become more of a danger. We've seen that happen in, uh, in Texas. These wildland um, fuels build up, especially close to built up areas. And if we don't address that, then we actually can have potentially a bad wildfire danger. The more we burn with prescription, the less wildfire danger we have. Uh, aside from the wildflower risk, there's, just the, there's also just the ecology of it. Now, because this place used to burn, I mean, the whole of central Texas would have burned, say, once every sort of 10 to 16 years. And of course, now we don't. So what you tend to get is what they call bush encroachment or more trees than there should be there. When you put fire back into the system, that reduces the amount of trees, especially the ash juniper, the cedar tree, and that allows the flowers and the, uh, the grasses to grow. seems so intimidating at first and then you've done it a few times and it, you know, I mean, you don't want to be complacent, but, you know, it lo I think the key to this is also, you know, like sort of getting past the like mystery threat of fire, you know, once you become a little more comfortable with it, it, you know, it is a big deal, but it's not like, it isn't such a big deal, you know, and the fear, you get over that fear or whatever, you know. And, you know, going out and, par and participating with other agencies, I mean, you really do feel connected. You know, we got, you know, I mean, this guy with the city and, um, you know, we've been out with TNC a few times and that's, that's been cool. A big um, kind of legacy prairie up by Temple that's, you know, never been plowed and, you know, just like so thick and grass up to here just like burning, you know, like. But, you, you know, you're hanging out with people that know a lot. You can learn from them. But, you know, you, you do feel kind of a little part of a community, you know. Warren's heading south on his line. And then you should be able to work from his, uh, his fire back to ours. So the weather is really, really important to a prescribed fire. The reason it's called a prescription in large part is because we burn under particular conditions. One of the most important aspects is relative humidity. As the humidity falls, the fire behavior gets more extreme. So we aim our uh, prescribed burns within a, a range of relative humidity and wind speed that'll keep it 
manageable but still give us the um, the benefits we want from the landscape and the other there are lots of important things but the other big one is wind speed and direction because that determines how we're putting fire on the ground and how we are managing it as we move around the unit these landscapes actually grew up with fire they need it to be healthy um, and so whenever these particularly the grasslands would have burned every four to twelve years on their own naturally and the grasslands start to get uh, less healthy over time if we don't go through and periodically do a fire um, and so we're kind of replacing that natural that natural um, disturbance that would have happened on its own so with the fire you get higher diversity in the plant community you get better habitat there's a lot of creatures that rely on grassland in particular um, and without the fires that habitat goes away. We burn all through the year here in winter and in, in summer and in fall and when you burn actually affects the composition of the wildflowers and the type of grasses you can expect and we've been running this now since 2000 and we've actually got some quite remarkable results some of which has been published but we're particularly interested for instance in invasive species we found when you burn in summer you can eliminate species from Asia which tend to take over but the, the wildflowers and the grasses that are here have evolved with fire and they're not affected at all. So you can effectively filter out the species you don't want. So those are the sort of things we're finding out are being very successful using this burn program. Okay. Well, from my perspective, um, I care primarily about the ecological uh, benefits of this fire. And so this is us taking care of our land, um, trying to put back natural cycles that we've removed and trying to get the land as healthy as possible.